It's a nacho banger. <laughs> it's a fun food. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's like a snack. So I can eat it on the go. Then we got right. a nacho banger wrap, right. so $3. You feel me? So it's easy on the go. Then right, you keep right, it moving, right. you know? I'm Sean J. Jackson. We're in Baltimore visiting some of the best spots to eat. Baltimore has some of the dopest food in the country, from its famous Maryland blue crabs to classic fast foods. In cities like this one, food is a huge part of what makes up the culture. It's what brings people together and what helps the community thrive. I wanted to see what makes the food here so special and try some of the city's local eats. Today, I'm hitting up two iconic spots, Sunny Subs and Nacho Bangers. Eric Williams started selling nacho bangers out of his kitchen in 2016. His unique style of nachos became so popular that he quickly opened up a storefront on East Monument Street, which is now one of the most popular places to go to in Baltimore for a post-game meal. Y'all already know nacho bangers, y'all. One bite tastes like love. Don't teach your taste, but treat your stomach. Don't order top without ringing my bell. We do one favor. Never ever trust a skinny chef. Eric's larger-than-life personality and positivity are part of what makes his business thrive. He uses platforms like YouTube and Instagram to make Nacho Bangers the success that it is today. I met up with the young entrepreneur at his restaurant to hear more about how he got his start and why his famous nacho dish is becoming a staple in Baltimore. How all this is made, so this is where the, the magic starts. Yeah, that's okay. how we go down it. How did all this start? It started at my house. At your house? Out my house. I was 19 years old, I only started with $60. I'm talking about like, I was on Instagram and I looked up. Food Network Channel, and I said nachos, well, I can make them. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, with the sixty dollars, what did you get with that? Oh, so I got like beef, shrimp, cheese. Um, I got some trays from my aunt. And when I got the trays from my aunt, I said, oh yeah, I can sell these now. His story is a reflection of the grit and determination inherent in Baltimore. After hearing about how he started his business, I wanted to know more about how the city itself influenced him and his nacho empire. Being being a Baltimore cat. Would you say the city itself has had an influence on your drive and passion into your business? Hey, I shout out the city itself. Shout out to all the high school kids, the athletes there, you know, because all of them bring their energy. And when they bring their energy in the Nacho Bangers, we share our energy with them. So it helped them build. We build great vibes. Yeah, the youth is really a big impact. You know, they come at the school. They come, uh, you know, colleges, uh -huh. high schools. Everybody come. At the basketball games, yeah. everybody come. Football games, they come here. So the flavor come from the, uh, this is some good pause. Okay. Pause, some good taco season. And you know the special, I can't tell it, this is sauce. Yeah. That's a little, little secret, I respect it. It's like the crust of crab foam. <laughs> So, you know, when people come here, not only do you want them to enjoy the food, but you want them to enjoy the people. The people. I want you, you know? to enjoy the resources that you have here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to network. If anything brings people together, it's food. It's food. Anything right. brings people together, it's food. And with good food, good flavor, made with love, oh, they coming back. Eric's passion for his food is contagious. Being in his kitchen, he made me feel right at home. I just had to see how a nacho banger is made. All right, so right here, this is a steak and shrimp banger right here. So what I do, you know, I do Doritos. It's like a crown. You got to make your crown beautiful. It's like you're making a king crown, but you're making the crown actually for yourself, or a queen crown. So what I do is, my chips got to be perfect on there. It's right. pitching food, don't forget. A lot of athletes like to take pictures yeah. of that. They come eat, you know, I made it a nacho banger today. <laughs> yeah, I got me a banger. I need that. The nacho bangers in the building, y'all. Nacho bangers, y'all. You already know. Make sure you got like 15 chips in here. Okay. Enough nice. that you, enough that a shabble. This nacho bang will feed up the two people right here. Oh really? Yeah, you can eat it three ways. You can eat it with a fork, eat it with Doritos, or make it to a burrito. You know, then you know we got the pause it. Oh, of course. Just to make everything pretty. Bop, bop, bop. Yep. Bop, bop. Then don't forget we got the sauce. Oh, the nacho secret, the sauce. secret the sauce. sauce. All right, the sauce. Yeah, so this is how nacho bangers. That is a picture food, man. Picture food, ain't it? It look like I'm supposed to take a picture of this. Yeah, yeah. You know, we'll get this out right now. Because this looks like I am supposed to send this to my mama and be like, we got to come to Baltimore and get a nacho banger. <laughs> Boom. He's so dedicated to spreading the love and making a positive impact that he even has words of affirmations prominently on display. A lot of right. people don't have a lot of financials. So what right. we do, three dollar wraps. That's beautiful. Home of a three dollar wrap. Yeah. I can go to Nacho Bang and get me a three dollar wrap. I can get a million for five dollars here. Equally important to him 
is looking out for his community by keeping his prices low and affordable. A drink for two and a $3 wrap? Oh, that filled me up all day. Yeah, I love that. Baltimore inspired me like to show you what we go through in our city, but how great we can be. What Nacho Bangers is, a food company to satisfy hunger and urban communities. Never ever trust a skinny chef. Let's build y'all. Can of Nacho Bangers get the love, so it's, let's build. The success of Eric's business is a reflection of his positive attitude and determination. Qualities that run deep in the city of Baltimore. And the Nacho Banger is just one of the Resilient City's classics. Another local staple is the fried chicken box. Since the 1930s, people in Baltimore have been enjoying this delicious and portable meal. Everybody in town has their own favorite chicken spot, but most agree that Sunny Subs is one of the best. I met up with ASAP Ant to try it out. ASAP Ant is a much acclaimed fashion designer, a rapper, and of course, a member of ASAP Mob. He's also a native of West Baltimore, so you know he was down to grab a chicken box with me and talk about his city. You being from Baltimore, mm -hmm. I just want to know how that influences your music or even you as a fashion designer. You know, it's cutthroat, you feel right. me? So I use that cutthroat mentality in the industry, you feel uh -huh. me? So I keep my head on point, you know right. what I mean? Because you got to keep your head up, your, your eyes and head up, you feel me? I turn up negative into a positive. And how important it is to you to, to, to stay connected with the Baltimore community? I love staying here. I love recording my music. I don't record music in New York. When I record music, my most fire music come when I'm in Baltimore. It's, it's just the, it's the energy, it's the vibe, you know? The energy and vibes is right. As someone who had such strong pride for the city he came from, I wanted to hear exactly what he thought about the chicken box and how it compared to other cities he's been to. And a staple in Baltimore is the chicken box. Word, word, so word. go ahead and you know yeah. talk talk to us about that for the people who are not from Baltimore. <laughs> All right, so I say this to everybody, because I've been around the world and nobody doesn't have this. New York got a, a chick, four wings of fries that they call New York. They don't call it a chicken box. Okay. You gotta get it from a Chinese restaurant. Oh. Chinese food. Okay, and Baltimore was the sub parlor. You know what I'm saying? Sub parlor, pizza, subs, and um, chicken boxes. Uh -huh. So in the chicken box is four wings of fries, right. four, and the salt, pepper, and ketchup, and hot sauce. Uh -huh. So it's like every other place they got their own season and stuff. Did you have a spot like here? Where you would go to, like, you know, with your teammates, I was like a post where you got post game meal. I guess I mean, I'm from the west side, but I'm sure the East Side kids at the mortgage, at the plan, that practice, they come here and they get some food, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But this right here, Sunnies is a real community type right. of feng shui, like real mobs and pops. Right, and right. You can see for real, they got teams. Teams on the wall. Yeah, exactly, like yeah. that neighborhood team and stuff, you yeah. know? I knew there were some good eats in Baltimore but I had no idea the amount of passion that surrounds food here. Whether you're looking for that next buzzing dish or for a classic go-to, there's no question that it's about so much more than what you eat. It's about bringing people together and supporting each other. We don't grow when things are easy. We grow when we face challenges. You know, everything, Nacho Bank was a challenge for me. I used to get, when I first got the building, the owner used to babysit me crazy. I ain't no business, but he told me.